Well, several years ago, like many millions of Americans, I read Dan Brown's book, The Boys in the Boat, and I saw in it the kind of ideal American experience story. It was a sports story for sure, but it was much more than a sports story. Mark Samuels got in touch and was talking about this book, that this great book that they really just had to, to make a doc out of. It was about sort of a classic American icon, the underdog. Uh, this is a whole boat filled with underdogs. I think the story takes on added resonance for a couple of factors. One is, who knew that rowing was one of the top three most popular sports in America in the 1930s? I mean, we're talking about thousands of people showing up for these races. And then the observation trains. The Northwest was, for many Americans, certainly east of the Mississippi, was something you just didn't think about. It was way out there. It was uh, this frontier on the edge of the country. And here in the sport of rowing, you have this power center created in Seattle, the University of Washington. The Olympics that they actually participated in, which is commonly known as Hitler's Olympics. The 11th and greatest Olympic Games of modern times is one that will live forever in the memories of those who had the privilege of witnessing them. Adolf Hitler was using the Olympics as a propaganda tool. When you look at the footage, um, you realize this was a grand, grand stage. It's in Berlin, it's 1936. The Nazis have come to power. We don't fully understand the implications of that. That'll become clear in the coming years. So that's really what these, these kids from Washington were, were coming into. Coming to Seattle was a great adventure for us. The University of Washington uh, crew team that rode for us for the original cinematography, we asked them to get up at dawn. You know, we wanted early morning shots. Then they went out again in the afternoon. So they were just so amenable to what we needed. The show is just jammed with with visuals, and it's they're amazing visuals of these boys, thanks to the community preserving a lot of it. This is a story about people who were at the very bottom, hard scrabble, hard working uh, families, the, the children of families that are really just getting by, and they work their way up and they achieve a level of greatness, which I, I think is a timeless source of inspiration.